Um, so yes, uh, aloha everyone. It is very exciting to be here. Uh, my name is Mark and I'm a web designer at NIC Hawaii. Uh, today I'm here with my coworkers, Steffi, who is a project manager and Matt, our senior systems administrator uh, to pre present a challenge for this year's hack. Uh, NIC Hawaii is a local tech company and has been Hawaii State's internet portal manager for the past 20 years. We develop online services and applications to help local citizens conveniently do business with the counties and the state of Hawaii. Uh, this year, we're happy to be back at the Hack to promote technological innovation and creativity. And we are very happy to be presenting a challenge in partnership with HMAR, the Hawaii Marine Animal Response. Uh, HMAR is the largest nonprofit marine species conservation, education, field support, and rescue response organization based here in Hawaii. And their mission is to undertake substantial actions that result in the preservation, recovery, and stewardship of Hawaii's marine protected species, as well as the ocean ecosystem that we share. Uh, these include species such as Hawaiian monk seals, sea turtles, dolphins, whales, and seabirds. Among the several ways they work to fulfill this mission is demanding of phone hotlines by volunteers and staff that allow the public to report sightings of marine protected species or report these animals who may be in distress. Uh, but like any public facing system, there are opportunities to improve the process and provide better support per for preserving and protecting these special marine animals. Next, Steffi will provide a deeper understanding of this challenge and how you'll be able to assist HMAR with their important work. Thank you, Mark. Imagine you're on a beach walk and you notice a Hawaiian monk seal. The seal seems to be just fine, resting on the shore. You enjoy the view from the distance. You heard that they're unique to the Hawaiian islands and that there are not that many left. People are encouraged to call them in. You look through your phone to see if you can find the hotline number that you had recently seen in an article. You find it, but you realize you don't even know what stretch of this rather long North Shore beach you're at. You wish there was an easy way to pinpoint the exact location when you talk to the hotline. Would the person hear you clearly with the rough ocean noise in the background and possibly spotty connection? Maybe your phone is almost dead and you decide to report the seal once you get home. You might also not feel as comfortable talking on the phone and wish there was another way. And how could you easily send those photos you took? H. more surely would want to see them. After all, didn't it look like there was something small and black moving next to the big seal? Now imagine you're a volunteer with HMAR. It is just the beginning of your hotline shift and you have already received several calls about sightings. You notice that a call went to voicemail while you were on the other line. The voice message is not very detailed. You wish the caller had included some more pertinent information. As you dispatch field responders to the various sightings, you wish there was an automated way for you to see which reports may be related to the same animal. Not just reports you received, but also from prior shifts. The Hawaiian monk seal is one of the most endangered marine mammals in the world. Just like the monk seal, many species on our island's shores are unique and cannot be found anywhere else. HMOR's mission lies in the preservation, recovery, and stewardship of these protected species. Receiving detailed and complete reports of marine wildlife sightings is essential in supporting that mission. It allows HMAR to dispatch appropriate field responses, and in the case of an animal in distress, timely rescue activities. Next, Matt will provide some suggestions on how you may work to find a solution to these challenges. Thank you, Steffi. Participants deciding to take on our challenge are really free to use whichever technology they feel would best solve the problem. We do not have any specific platform or technology requirements. The main thing to keep in mind is that the overall goal of this challenge is to enable the users to report marine wildlife sightings easily 
efficiently and accurately, and then present that information to HMAR volunteers in a meaningful way. There are a few key points that were brought up in Steffi's story that you can use to kind of guide your approach. First, it is important to make the reporting means easy to find and use at a moment's notice. People will be far more likely to report a sighting if the reporting process is as painless as possible. Next, technology such as GPS, maps, APIs, and the like can be used to assist with location reporting, depending on what the, whether the reporter is still in the area or not. As these are marine wildlife sightings, odds are the report's gonna be made on the beach. There are various issues like cell reception and wind that make phone calls more difficult. We would want a solution that works well, regardless of the drawbacks of using it in that environment. And as the saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. Being able to deliver a photo of the situation to HMAR could be extremely valuable. And finally, there could be any number of good Samaritans submitting reports all about the same animal, and it would be good to provide suggestions based on the data collected to assist HMAR with at least guessing which of these reports could be related. But don't let these things limit you. Put yourself in the shoes of that person on the beach. Maybe there are other things you can think of that will be helpful when reporting a marine wildlife sighting. We hope that you will take on our challenge and help to preserve Hawaii's unique marine ecosystem. A Slack channel is available, of course, if you have questions or need further clarification on the challenge. And just a reminder, NIC Hawaii is a local tech company, and we do have internship opportunities available. Also, if you're inter interested in their cause, check out HMAR's website to see how you can become a volunteer. Thank you for participating in this year's code challenge, and we are excited to see what you come up with and look forward to talking with you further. Thank you.